when I think about the cir- when I, when I think about the circumstance of justice for Dante and and um, and the way that the authorities in Delnor County have have carried out the handling of this issue, um, I can't help but think back to the time of Josh Lacey. And uh, much respect to their family for uh, for the things that they had to go through with the loss of their child. But one thing that I have to point out in the spirit of truth is that those cops beat our town to death over the culprits regarding the hit and run tragedy that was connected to, to, to the Lacey family. And for them to drop the ball so soon after the death of Martha's son is a fucking crime against humanity. And, and it's, and, and it's just, uh, another example, how those, how those of us that have nots who don't have a leg to stand on versus the, uh, football player class of the Lacey family, you know, and, and our loss has been swept under the rug when even, 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 even during the time of the Lacey tragedy, um, we all as a community came together, you know what I'm saying? And now, and now here, here, here Martha is with her circumstance and we're, uh, you know, kicking and scratching, you know, in order to get any kind of support. And, and, and to me, it shows the racism of the circumstance. It shows the discrimination of the circumstance and it shows the corruptness of government, uh, uh, especially in Del Norte County. And, and I think that all of those people that including, uh, lame ass, uh, I'm not even gonna say his name, man, but you know who I'm talking about. All you fucking lames that used to talk shit in D9 and now you're fucking cops because you couldn't get a real fucking job. And, and this is how you carry out your not real fucking job to where me or one of my children could do my job better than you. There's a couple of good cops in Crescent City, but I can't think of their fucking names right now.